titles and greetings we'll cut short today because we are going to make candied lemon and orange peel. There isn't a lot to do, but you have to do it a lot. You'll see what I mean. We need two organic oranges and lemons, 15 ounces of sugar, and some patience. We'll start with cutting the butts of the oranges and lemons. Be generous about it. We want them to stand up right so that they'll be easier to handle. You'll see why in a while. Then you make an incision along the peel. Don't go too far, otherwise they'll fall apart completely, and that is not what we want. Once that's done, stand them upright and take the peel off with a little bit of force. And the right finger, that wasn't the right one. There we go. Sometimes you have to coax them a little. Oops, uh, they do spit in your eye. Once all the peels are off, they go into a pot that shouldn't be too small. And then we give them a bath with quite a lot of water. And off they go to get boiled for the first time. This is what professionals call to blanch, which actually means that as soon as the water boils, you take them off, which is what we'll do right now. You drain them, put fresh cold water into your pot, put them back in the pot, and put the pot back on the heat. Guess what? We're going to do that again. Drain them, fresh water, put them in, last time on the stove. After having been scalded three times in three different waters, we'll drain them one last time and mistreat them a little bit more. We'll lay them out flat and cut them into strips. The usual size is this, well, well I'll show you again. This is about the usual size, but you can do whatever you want. You can leave them whole. They go into a smaller pot and I'll pour a mountain of sugar onto them then use half a litre of water, that's not very much, and off they go. This time to be heated up slowly, we will bring them to a boil, dissolve the sugar a little bit, and bring them to a slow, slow boil. You have to watch that pot. As soon as it starts to bubble, off it comes, and we'll have to wait until it's completely cold. And that we're going to do three times. I told you it was going to be long. This is a fast forward, don't forget to let them go completely cold between each boil. There we are, this is the last time, third and last time, and we leave it to cool overnight because it deserves some rest as we do, so see you tomorrow. It's the morning after, we're rested and so are our peels, and let's have a peek. They don't look too bad, but they're not done. They need another boil. But only one, I promise, we're not going to do it three times, only once, and it's going to be the last. So let's get cracking. Put them on the stove, medium heat, and let them heat up slowly, and this time you will let them boil until they are translucent, like this. This is absolutely perfect, we don't need any more, so off they come. Well, that's it. I swear it would be worth the effort. So what's left to be done? Only take them out of the syrup and lay them onto a grid to dry. That'll take a little while. Now what can you do with these? You can either eat them like that, once they're dry, or you can roll them in caster sugar. Do that when they're still a bit sticky and use coarse grain caster sugar because that gives them a nice crunch. You can melt some chocolate, dark chocolate's the best. Just melt it in the microwave, dunk them in there and you will have the most delightful orangeette. I'm doing them halfway, but you can do them all the way. The leftover syrup in your pot, don't throw it out. Boil it down. It makes a wonderful spread with lots of flavor. These are much better than anything that you can buy. So give them a try. There's not much work going into them, really. Just a little patience. <laughs>